It is a huge honor and a huge privilege to be here standing before you offering my vision and my plans for the future of this district. And I want to thank you, Olivia, and I want to thank everyone else here for spending some of your Sunday evening with us. In case you missed it, my name is Andrew Morris and I'm running to be your progressive vested candidate for House District 64. And this is a journey. It's a journey for me that started 9,000 miles away in Australia and it's going to end right here in Denton and I have a next stop in Austin. Because this is a journey, we have a journey towards a utopian future. One where we have education that is accessible for everyone from pre-K all the way through to graduate school. To have affordable healthcare, not just for those who are fortunate to have good jobs, but for those who are unable or don't have the resources to access healthcare. I come from two countries that didn't have healthcare as a pressing issue because we were able to fund it through government means. And that's what the US can do. It's the privilege that they have, but they just need advocates for it. It also means having an advocate for an, an economy that works for everyone, not just because this is the right thing to do, but because it becomes a greener economy when we invest in wind and solar. Anyone here who is listening to Better Award knows that we have far more jobs in wind and solar than oil and gas. And please ignore the sirens. <laughs> and be environmentally sound and be environmentally friendly by investing in wind and solar and weaning ourselves off of oil and gas. We are going to create a far better, far more viable, far more sustainable future for everyone in this room and for all the kids here and who are unborn. This is the just the start of a journey for me. And I'm inviting each and every one here in this tent and outside the tent to join me on it. Because if we are able to band together and if we are able to form this consensus and this hope, we will be able to impact our futures. I disregard and I reject this, this thought process that we are unable to have an impact and that our votes don't matter, because they do matter. When we are unable or unwilling to fight for what we believe in, we are giving away our future and giving away our ideals for free. So I urge you, we are in the middle of early voting. If you have not yet voted, please vote. Vote in the Democratic primary, bring three, five, seven, ten friends, because not only do, when that happens, not only do we send shivers down the Republican stronghold, but we are able to provide the best resources possible for our candidates moving forward. And I will pledge here and now that no matter what happens... All right, thank six, you so much, Andrew. I will be available to right. everyone in this place.